Hey Core Reporters, welcome back to my channel. Travis Scott just gave his first big performance since getting sued for um, Astroworld Festival. And um, it was the 4th of the July Coney Island show. And when some of his fans started getting rowdy, climbing some of the infrastructure, he stopped the show to say, listen, we need y'all to get down, you know, because he wanted to keep the crowd safe. And so, um, you know, one would think he learned his lesson after, you know, inciting rampages in the past, leading to a bunch of people, unfortunately, passing away at Astroworld Festival. But the lawyers for the massive class action lawsuit against him are saying, oh, so Travis, you knew that you could tell people just calmly to stop doing dangerous things and you just chose not to all this time. Well, you know, if you did this earlier, a bunch of your fans would still be alive. Okay, so we're not just gonna like act like this is all fine and dandy. We are gonna address the fact that you knew all this time. You never hesitated to say, get down. You know, because in Travis's defense for why he allowed people to be trampled at his last show, he's saying that it's not his job. It's security's job. It's this person's job. It's that other person's job. But now here he is on video in 4K handling the crowd on his own. You know, I think that this is something that is going to be a really, 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 big point in the lawsuit when it comes to um, you know the people who are suing him saying oh look how simple it was Travis all this time you could have done it and you chose not to instead what you would do on your mic in the past was tell people to rush the stage so that things would get dangerous right so um, and to do like the whole mosh pit thing where they just punch the air or whatever and you know hit each other so yeah it is gonna be interesting to watch how this plays out you know on one side I could totally see why Travis now who is so shook after facing like a billion dollars, um, you know, in lawsuits would be inclined to tell people not to do things that put themselves and the rest of his fans at harm. But on the other side, I could see why the lawyers for the, you know, people suing him would use it as a perfect opportunity to show that he knew all along that he had this power over his crowd with his words and that he could, you know, direct them to destruct or to be safe. And he chose to direct them to destruct in the past. You know, this is going to be a very interesting lawsuit, you guys. I feel like this is going to be, um, you know, uh, if they allow cameras into the court, I feel like this could be another Johnny Depp, Amber Heard type of level of interest in the world because I think um, that... There's a lot of creative uh, avenues that the lawyers can take here on both sides, right? Um, maybe Travis's side could say, well, listen, originally he wouldn't do this because it wasn't his job and this and that. But we learned from the last time that security is not always reliable. And so now, because we care so much about his fan safety, this is something that he's willing to do on his own. You know, I could totally see both sides of this. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that and get some of your thoughts on it as well. How how do you think this will play out for him in court? Will this be a positive thing or will this be a negative thing, uh, point against him when he's finally taken to trial? Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.